Hi guys, this is uh, Solomon Jagwe. I am the creator and director of the Adventures of Nkoza and Nancha TV series. Uh, here, what I have is uh, a scene, uh, what you could say it's HD scene, it's 1280 by 720. And this scene, believe it or not, uh, didn't take very long to render. The average time for each frame is about 26 seconds. Think about that, 26 seconds for an HD frame of an animated scene. Something that used to be, you know, very difficult to achieve using Mentor Ray and several other render engines, but I'm able to get this kind of quality, um, you know, with within just uh, <laughs> 26, 30 seconds. To me, that's been the quest. And what I'm using is, uh, you know, GPU rendering. I'm not using a uh, CPU. And that's the beauty of having a good uh, you know, set of graphics cards. My machine has three graphics cards. Uh, all of them are NVIDIA. And average is about two gigabytes per graphics card. You know, the bigger one, the most, the stronger one is uh, three gigabytes. So this again, um, let me play real quick. So you can see a little bit, it's buffering. Okay. There we go. Fully animated. Um, about 30 seconds or 26 seconds of uh, animation. Looking great. The depth of field. All this is calculated in real time. I'm going to show that to you in Maya. And so here we go. Uh, let me stop this. Let's go to Maya real quick. This is the scene. Let me turn this on. So you can see the character. Uh, this is the grandfather uh, of Nkoza and Nancha in uh, my TV series. It's fully animated. And challenge now is, you know, how do you get to, you know, my benchmark of 24 seconds? This is what I do. I go to the render settings. And I'm using Octane Render from Otoy. And I want to take a look at the CUDA devices that I'm using. Uh, GTX 780. And two... GT 640s. So this is the one that is uh, my computer is using, you know, for handling the graphics display. So I don't use that. I just use the these two. This one is the most powerful one, and it has three gigabytes of uh, on the graphics RAM, and this one also complements. So they work together, and so this is what I do. I bring up the IPR, the the render settings that I'm using right now. I'm using direct light. Uh, if I need to have like pure uh, true ray tracing I've, I'll switch to path tracing uh, which is going to be under here path tracing and you can set the diffuse depth of you know how many like bounces you want the light to 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 the scene but I prefer to use direct lighting which is which gives you a good you know result uh, that looks like it's actually um, <laughs> ray traced and all that it right now i'm using the the light is coming from an hdri image which is uh something that i converted in uh, inside of photoshop and i'm using that to cast the lighting on this character so going, going back to maya i'm using 900 uh, samples and i'll show you the difference so i'll go ahead and bring up my render view and already you can see the difference. So now it's taking about what it twenty it says it's gonna take twenty seven seconds. Twenty seven twenty six twenty eight and up to if you get to like nine hundred samples, right? So watch what happens when I switch this number now. So I I'm right right now I'm happy with the you know the noise level, but if I want to do like a quick render, I can take it down to simply say a hundred and I'll go to another frame so you can see the difference and at a hundred samples it's saying it's gonna take three seconds <laughs> and it actually did so you get three seconds of a, a simple so I mean you might want to you could do like a play blast and get you know with the, it with with or without materials but here you get like something close to what the final render is gonna look like in three seconds so I'm able to do like very rapid prototyping and also checking out whether how my lighting is gonna you know impact you know the shots 
and this is also in real time so if I were to go here and change my camera uh, let me reduce this is actually 1280 by 720 so I'm just gonna reduce that and watch what happens in real time I'm able to change the camera angle and you can see the different uh, I can zoom in real well close to the character and the beauty of uh, Octane is that it has uh, it has autofocus so I can pick any area here and it chooses automatically focusing on the background for example like that and you get the characters out of focus and this is in, in real time and look at the times here you know the processing time a hundred you know samples in uh, four seconds to get that quality so if I were to go to my target which is about 900 samples with direct lighting and ambient occlusion set to you know that distance I can actually uh, change it to like three to speed up the render as well so ambient occlusion distance is three so right now it's gonna take about 30 seconds to get to 900 samples and it also gives you an idea here as the samples are getting closer to your target and that's the beauty of Octane and that's how I'm able to get my renders looking very good and also this right here is all handled by the cameras uh, settings so if I go into the camera settings real quick I'll select the camera that I'm using which is a uh, perspective one and I'll go to the settings over here so the aperture is set to a hundred so if I turn it down to just zero then there's no shallow depth of field if I turn it all the way to you know 20 you start seeing you know the depth of field kicking in so I, I like going cranking it up to get a really nice shallow uh, depth of field so go back to my perspective view me bring frame my character even better okay so he's framed nicely and I'm getting 25 26 you know it, the reason why it's kind of going up and down is because I'm using two graphics cards so all of them are contributing the final time will be after it reaches the 900 samples if you are if you look at the edges for example right here and this is only uh, it's not yet at a one-to-one -one ratio if I do look on the edges if you're not happy with the noise level or the quality then you can definitely go back and bump it up to a higher setting but sometimes there's no need for that like maybe 1200 maybe just good enough to knock out the little you know flex of uh, noise here and there but guys that's how I'm able to get my TV series looking great but also rendering out at a short uh, you know duration and I can ask also this you know people have asked me how are you able to retain you know do you do color grading in After Effects sometimes I don't do any color grading in, in uh, After Effects at all this shot right here looks like ready to actually <laughs> display what I do is I'm using the the Octane Imager here to control the gamma for example if I were to take it to you know 4.7 you can see the difference in that I can bring the gamma all the way down to get like a deeper you know depending on the mode that you're trying to achieve I can also increase the exposure just like in a, a camera you know with photography that's how you're able to get your photos looking a certain way so if I do like three I'm able to get you know re like classic looks something that you would imagine be doing in Photoshop but I'm doing it right here and I'm getting the, the nice reflections in the eyes the alpha ch the alpha channel is there actually for me to composite this into uh, another s uh, scene if I so choose to so what I do is if I go to the settings here and I turn on alpha channel it knocks out the background so now my character is ready for compositing and I can layer it on top of another you know image and I also get access to all these other features uh, where you have render passes you know like the environment I can have you know just the diffuse 
indirect, reflection, refraction, all these can be rendered out separately. But going back to this, um, this is the final scene that we're looking at and it's fully rendered with a, you know, bloom and effects. So I hope this helps you, you know, when you're trying to figure out how am I going to render my TV series, I, I encourage you to consider using Octane uh, over maybe Mentor Ray because you're getting very good results in a short period of time. 25 seconds is just a, was a dream, you know, a couple of years ago. But now I'm able to do achieve it with Octane and get this kind of uh, quality uh, of the character for my TV series. So again... My name is uh, Solomon Jagwe. Uh, this is my TV series uh, my team and I are working on. And I encourage you, you know, visit us, check us out. And also, if you are able to help us, you know, with a small donation, please go ahead and uh, visit our GoFundMe page. Uh, by the, you know, we've raised about 1875 would be able to, it would be great to get to 18,000k. So, a small donation would greatly be appreciated. Uh, kindly visit our uh, Facebook page and like us and share us with your friends. Again, I hope this was helpful. Thank you and uh, have a blessed day.